What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. This is the Trooper right now. Uh, I am fixing a pair of broken headphones that I unfortunately broke myself in an uh, attempt to restore them. So uh, I just want to take you through this journey. If you are not sure what to do, I just want to show you. You have your positive and your negative side. These wires are very, very small. And I'm very sorry for the video quality and the lighting as I am filming this at night. And uh, I really don't have a good camera, so I am using my phone. First of all, we're going to need a, a hot glue gun. This one has been standing for a while. And a soldering iron. And then any type of plier will do. But I have this very small, delicate little side cutter so what happened is i found these from a I got these from a friend and they were a bit mangled as you can see i hope this thing will focus i'm trying to make it focus but yeah it's not focusing so what happened they were a bit mangled from a friend i tried to fix them and i screwed up because I, when i pulled it apart i i um i pulled the speaker not the pad the speaker where's the speaker I unfortunately pulled the speaker off. Oh, here it is. As you can see, there's your in-ear speaker. At the back, it has the two, the two um, connection points. Your positive, yeah, your positive side on the on the left, and then your negative side on the right. So I am attempting to fix these, and I want to take you through this journey with me. The music in the background is just there, so I can focus and concentrate and what's nice about this glue gun it's a cordless glue gun so I can move it around if I want to and that's what exactly what I am going to do as you can see I'm just gluing this uh, wire to the phone itself and don't worry if you do a bit of excess you can trim that off later with a carpet knife or a box cutter or anything in in that uh, category because uh, I am going to use a small scalpel knife to do exactly that just hold it there for a few seconds till the glue starts drying That's the only negative part of a glue gun or a hot glue gun is that the glue doesn't dry instantly. You need to hold it there so the glue can dry and that the wire doesn't move. Just keep that there. I might put in a Ford on this in the video so just keep with me. And uh, my soldering iron is standing, is on standby next to me. It's already hot, so I can start with the stripping process. Just keep pressure on that part. Usually, on your speaker wire, the one that is not a solid color, like on on this specific one, there is a red and a red and a blue. Now, the red with blue usually indicates your negative, and the red. The clean red wire indicates your positive. It's so in. Okay, the glue seems to have dried a bit more now or better now. As you can see, this open part right here. I want to, I want to put some glue there as well, as it's a very good insulation method. So I'm gonna put some glue there, very very lightly. And what's nice about the glue gun that I'm currently using is it's cordless. So when it's hot enough, I can I can just use it without worrying that the cord might come in contact with anything else or in the way of you working. But just use discretion and remember always be safe. A hot glue gun, as the name implies, is hot so it can and will burn you if you are not careful such as the soldering iron as well please use caution when working with 
hot tools and if you are under 18 and not sure how something works please do this under parental supervision just take this that's one thing of a glue gun that I don't like it makes these little wires everywhere so just check on your when you feel it's don't do what I just did please don't do what I just did I made a stupid uh, mistake right now um, I touched the glue while it's hot and it, and it burned my hand a bit but that's why I'm saying use caution when doing something like this and with this headset you can see on this part as well it has been taped so what I want to do is on that part as well I am going to put some of this glue because like I said it's a very very good insulator as electricity can't jump through it and this is minor in the in the meaning that it only is connected to your audio output on your PC or gaming headset whatever etc just like I said when you are doing something like this just hold it there as it might take a few moments to dry and what's nice about hot glue is that it is flexible as you can see this part has has um, dried and look it can still move without the glue breaking and my wires are you can see there on the inside there I will bring it close to camera you can see there uh, it's dried and it's hot and it's cold now I can touch it but it doesn't move I mean it's still flexible in a way so you can still use it I just want to touch up a bit because I can see here yeah my, my gun is starting to get cold I'm struggling to press the glue out just just so you know in the future or a little bit later on in this video I'm going to wrap that with insulation tape uh, yes I'm going to wrap that with insulation tape and you see on this part the glue wasn't hot enough so it burned off so I'm gonna plug in the glue gun again and wait for it to get hot now on to the difficult part these wires are extremely extremely thin so use caution when stripping them with any type of tool because you can simply just make a small error and you you snip it off and then we have then you have problems I'm trying to do this as delicate as possible but my my side cut doesn't want to work with me come on I don't want to press too hard because if I press too hard wait 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 you're going through this journey with me I'm gonna use a lighter yes that works to burn off the insulation like I said please with the utmost care be safe because a lighter can and will burn you if you use it improperly I just blew down yes now I have open connection points that worked much better so in my advice use a lighter it's much easier and now for the hard part you usually on on a speaker you will see you are not going to see that right now because my camera is not that good it's marked on that little board on your connection board with a positive and then obviously the other side will be a negative so like I said the red is the positive and the blue is the negative the red and blue is the negative in in my case yours can be it can range anywhere from weird uh, I want to just yeah my soldering iron is hot so we just put some we just heat that as such come on come on I don't wanna you must be very careful when doing this a soldering iron is very hot it can give you third degree burns very very easily okay so it it didn't 
for some reason it didn't connect or melt properly I'm gonna try again There we go, that's a better connection. Usually when doing something like this, you always want to ensure that your connections are proper because any loose connection can cause, in, uh, cause a fault or a hot connection as known and then your speaker won't work properly anymore. So now what I want to do is just the, the other side and please again be very careful with the soldering iron they become extremely extremely hot I just need to get that little wire the problem is I only have two hands no it did not connect okay yes and we have a proper connection now we can turn off the soldering iron because I don't want to use that anymore. Like I said, I'm going to use the the glue gun again because on this side it didn't. There we go. This worked perfectly. And my connections are strong and solid. You can see that I'm not going to pull too hard because these wires are very, very brittle. So now we're going to take the glue gun and just something rightly. Just something I learned, just when you are doing connections and stuff like this, when you have a glue gun on hand, it usually works when you isolate those with just a dab, just a small dab. Then it sticks it to the motherboard and it provides extra insulation. So like I said, I just want to go over this again as this did not stick very well and then this other part that I wanted to do but it did not work and I can't stress this enough safety over speed please don't burn yourself I'm gonna say this again if you are under the age of 18 and not sure how this works, please use adult supervision when working with any type of hot instrument. You see, now I'm, I'm experiencing this problem that the glue is dripping. Just use a, a piece of insulation tape or something that you have lying around that did not work the first time, just to get that excess glue off because this is, ooh, don't stick it to your table like I just did. Um, this glue is very very hot and like I said I can't stress this enough please be safe so now I'm just waiting for the glue to dry just hold it a few seconds just a few seconds so that the glue when the glue starts becoming this whitish color then it, it depends on what type of glue stick you use um, these I am using turn white when they are becoming dry. Just hold it for a few seconds. And then if you really want to, you can take off these, looks like spider webs. You can just take that off. You see my glue is starting to dry. Now. I have this small screwdriver set that I usually use with these types of of uh, jobs that I do or repair or whatever you want to call it usually with this this type of projects that I do and always when you are working exactly that that just what just happened, I want to warn you from, when you are working with small screws and small type of things, you usually get yourself a container so you don't lose them. Because if you lose them, 
you can't really get them back like most of the stores where I am located they don't stock those type of screws and like I said just be really careful because you just fix it and you don't want to break it again I just want to make sure that as I am pressing this against it line up your your things why, why doesn't it wanna hey we got uno uno luckily it did not break off and this is the other delicate process that i want to talk about let's see what happens when you turn it around usually when something doesn't work one way it works the other way listen to what i'm saying usually not always so I, I can't understand why it doesn't want to on a seat oh that might be the case the glue I just used is creating a stop at that point over there I know you can't see it very well I'm, 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 I'm saving up to get myself a better camera you can use a carpet knife or any type of knife or whatever I'm using what they call a hobby knife looks like that it's extremely sharp and again safety over speed don't be stupid don't rush don't rush because if you rush you run risk of injury and please I don't want any of you to be injured while doing stuff like this as it is usually a better alternative than sending it in you can create something for yourself stuff like that and be very careful this glue is very strong so when you are working with a knife like this that is softer be very very careful so it doesn't slip this is my carpet knife I usually use it, the blade is a bit stronger and a bit sharper than that other one Ooh, you see it slip that's what I'm saying please always 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 be very careful and then this part is up to you you decide how to remove the excess glue I'm using this method you can use anything that you want to you can heat it up again I just I can't stress the safety part enough let's see if it works yes it seats a lot better so now you just want to line up your your come on line it line up line up I'm still flabbergasted as to the fact that this thing doesn't wanna wanna seat into its spot but maybe we can change that put in your screw at this point be careful as that screw is very very small you can lose it very very easily as to the point of why this thing doesn't wanna seat inside it's there we go you can use the screws to line it up but then again be careful as you can strip that plastic <gasps> and then that can happen as well don't put your your damn it <laughs> put your screw case on the side of your workspace close it again because like me there's little screws and pots laying everywhere don't be like me be smarter than me so now we do the second one like so and then the third one mine has four screws depending on how your headphones are designed you can have maybe three or two these are with, with these are tightened with four. Oh no I almost lost that little screw that would have been a disaster and there you have it your speaker is installed it's flush you feel there's nothing atop there 
So let's just close that little box again. And then your ear guard, you just press on. It usually just clips on. It's clipped on. And there you have it. That's part one.